will be a village connery showdown for the 2017-2018 SKNFA national bank premier league title as the finalists have been decided Saul island auto supplies connery fc dropped sl horses and pauls 4-1 in the first game of the double header on sunday at the warner park to book their final spots ramsley superstars came from behind to defeat defending champions flow 4gk and rockets 2-1 to knock the latter out of the competition prior to sunday's games St. Paul's needed only a win to guarantee a spot in the finals to face Village that were already in the finals since last Wednesday. Connery FC needed to win by three clear goals if they were to have a chance to make it to the finals. They took the lead in the first half through a Glenroy Samuel strike in the 34th minute. Won by Connery there in attendance and trying to squeeze through and hear Glenroy Samuels and it's going to be a situation and it's in the back of the net! Oh, it's in the back of the net! Apology in the old onion bag! In the second half, though, St. Paul's came with more purpose and got an equalizer in the 53rd minute from Omar Francis. Right foot. Oh, and it's a nice dummy. Put, put it across and it's a ball. Yes, it is for St. Paul's in the old onion bag. But Connery, not to be outdone, regained the lead four minutes later with a thunderous strike from a free kick off the boots of Orlando Ack Mitchum. A few minutes later, Mitchum extended the lead with a glancing header in the 75th minute. And to put the icing on the cake, Andy Leibert scored a scorcher of a goal in the 83rd minute, firing from distance. And here is Connery billing in the middle and the shot comes in. Oh, oh, what a goal! And that is the goal! Oh, oh, the the goal, goal to make, Connery! Give him a lot of space! Making it easy! I am... Um, floored Troy I am floored that is a that is a scorcher of a goal that's the best goal we've seen so far in the playoffs in the second of the double header Rams Village superstars came from behind to win 2-1 against defending champions Flo 4GK and Rockets with Village already in the finals and based on the results in the Connery match Keon needed to win by two clear goals to book a spot in the finals the league's top scorer Carlos Berti was in the starting lineup for the first time in the playoffs and he made his mark known early in the 23rd minute. Playing a shot here to Pringle. Pringle now gets gained the ball. Here is a chance now for Bertie. Bertie shoots the shot and it's in the back of the net. Keon takes the lead. Leading 1 0 at halftime, Keon came out in the second half trying to get the all important second goal. But with Leverton Jeffers picking up two yellow cards in the 71st and 83rd minutes, respectively, and Keon now down to 10 men, the pressure was even more on the defending champions. That pressure, however, took its toll, and four minutes after the sending off of Jeffers, Joseph Wilkes popped up in the 18-yard box from a cut-in through pass from Kimari Rogers to equalize for Village. Here is a chance here now with Joseph Wilkes. It's the back of the net. Village have equalized. Tyrone Hanley, who has been on fire for Village in these playoffs, sealed the 2-1 win in the 90th minute of play almost the last play of the match at the end of the match coach jeffrey hazel of village commended his players for making the necessary adjustments for the victory well in the first half we just didn't play our our style uh we tried to give some guys who you know brought us here to the finals you know played very well during the regular season and to give them some minutes in in, in this game see what they they're capable of doing uh, in preparation for the finals and uh in the second half you know we, we came up with it we came up with a different mentality Coach George Isaac of Keon was in his usual optimistic mood and gave a positive assessment of Keon's season. How would you look at the season? Well, the season was not an easy season, but still, we could have made it a more a little easier for us and be more comfortable in what um, position we, we end up in and through the season. But it was a tough season. It was tough, some tough loss and coming on to the end was a lot of games and still we got to stay focused and concentrate and, and the idea of being fit and um, getting ready for game by game. With the round robin matches now ended, Village and Connery will play in the finals starting next week Sunday at 7pm at the Warner Park Football Stadium for Game 1.